Hello, hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to another episode of Unapologetically Abundant Podcast. I'm your host, Petya Kolibova, and I am really excited to take you to this short but very deep and impactful journey. I learned that sometimes when we can gift ourselves five to 10 minutes to really rewiring our brain to what's possible instead of focusing on the problems, we can create shifts and ripples in our lives that are truly lasting. So today, the short episode, it's going to be about how to let your walls down and still feel safe. Coming from Czech Republic, when I was, when I moved from big city to small town, the first thing that I learned very quick is that belief and story that I own for most of my life is that women are competitive, women are cutting, women are jealous, and you gotta be the leader to succeed in a way. You gotta step up on everybody else to get on the top. Because that's something that I've been experiencing throughout growing up, my teenage age, and even up until when I moved in Europe, London and Spain, it was all competitive and all who is going to have more and do more. And that made me to truly build my walls up. Because I was so afraid to trust someone. I was very emotional and I was told that, you know, like I, I, I feel too much and I give too much and basically I'm too much. And uh, that really made me believe that if I can become this cold witch and just build my walls up, nobody will able to hurt me again, disappoint me again. I had my heart always so wide open because I was so hungry for a laugh that I would let people in. And because I didn't own my word, I didn't know who I am, I would change with every person and every situation to fit, to fit them all, to fit in the box, to fit in the situation or the person expectations of who I'm supposed to be. So it wasn't up until about two years ago when I got, I was already having my social media marketing business. I was transitioning into life coaching. I had a few life coaching women clients that I was helping them with their business that I realized that when I'm trying to do it all by myself, I get sick, like physically sick. I get burned out. And I started to question my approach to women and to trying to do it all by myself. And slowly but surely, I decided that I wanna see a different world. Because I remember back then I was reading um, some quotes and books from Dr. Wayne Dyer, and he said, when you change the way you look at the world, or when you change the, I'm like totally like killing it now, the quote, but when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And that became my mantra. That became my mantra in my business and my personal life, because I was looking at women as competing and better than me and having more than me and having the things that I didn't have, like the relationships and the house and the car and the travels and tropical destinations and the six pack and 10 body and whatever it was, I was looking at them and it made me feel miserable and less than, and I didn't want to keep feeling like that. So because I cannot change how things are outside of me, I can change who is having what and who is doing what. That's their business, not mine. What I can change is how I'm looking at those things. So I started to look at the woman as inspiring, as if she can do it, I can do it. As that it, that's not the obstacle or challenge, but that's a possibility. It has been done before. Why couldn't recreate something similar based on, on who I really am? I started to put my walls down. And I as, as soon as I was starting to put them down, I was able to attract people who are like me. 
my ideal clients, the love of my life, amazing opportunities like starting a podcast and having a TV show here in Las Vegas, Inner Beauty with Petia, being produced. And I was able to do that because I let myself see in. What we all really, really crave, it's being seen and heard and understood and feeling that we truly belong. You want to feel that you belong somewhere, not that you fit in some boxes, but that you're not like this outsider, crazy person with crazy ideas and million thoughts a second. You want to feel that there are people like you, that you belong. And we can do that only when we put our walls down. You got to understand that no one and nothing can really hurt you unless you permit it. If somebody, let's, let's say that complete, complete stranger will walk on the street and tell you something like harmful or hurtful and tell you like, oh my gosh, you are a piece of trash. You will look at that person and you will like, is this person sick? Are they well? Are they like, well, you know, you would be like wondering and then you will pass and maybe you will share with your best friend, like, look, this crazy thing happened today, but they're not going to take it personally and take it as your identity. Now imagine that you're in relationship with someone who will tell you that, or your parent will tell you that. Now it's different, right? Because you are emotionally invested. Well, how about you look at those things and people the same way like you would look at the first person? Not owning it, knowing your word, owning your word, knowing who you are, and knowing that more you can open yourself, more you can open your heart, more you can attract in your life like you because you let yourself be seen. And that's something that I started to be practicing in my life event for more in April. That things that I'm doing in Bali retreats and also in retreat here in Las Vegas, the 17, 18, 19. Women come just as they are. And sometimes that itself, it's so transformational because they are given permission to be themselves, to just come as they are, to truly embrace and reconnect with who they are. Give yourself the permission now. When you're walking into now the holidays, when you're walking into seeing a people, don't take things personally. Let your walls down. Keep your heart open and know that when you overflow with love, you have no need for validations of others or confirmation how worthy you are because you know you are. I hope you have absolutely amazing, incredible holidays filled with love, abundance, richness, laughter, cuddles, whatever it is, nature, anything that your soul and heart truly desires. Know that I love you and I appreciate you so, so, so much to be on this journey with me and to invest the time in yourself to really rewire your brain and heart and stay open to who you clearly are and why you are here. Mwah.